Before we get this show on the road, I would like to give a wee mention to Jamie Serrell, who couldn't get to the game on Sunday. But I hope you enjoy this vlog, mate. See you later. Z99 out the third park tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to another Matchday Vlog today. Mother will play Rangers, it's a game I've not been looking forward to all week. And yeah, just the, the fact we're playing Rangers, it's just demotivated me 100%. <laughs> and also it's a Sunday game, so I hate Sunday games with a passion. I was up like before 8 o'clock on a Sunday, it's not my thing for a 12.15 kickoff. These things have to stop guys. Even if it's for TV, just move it to 3 o'clock, just like every normal person. Anyway, uh, my mum has been kind enough to drive me to Dundee because trains are really bad today. Uh, I'm going to have to get a replacement bus to Motherwell from Glasgow, so might as well just get the train from Dundee to Glasgow Queen Street. Anyway, I predict a 4-0 defeat. Motherwell, let's get into this. <laughs> Me and Motherwell, uh, and then I'm gonna put on a wee cheeky bet for the day, and I'll show you what I'm gonna put on. Laz, how are we feeling? Adam, what are you thinking? <laughs> My, well, we've got two predictions. Oh, aye. Car. Oh. You wanna go over that? Oh, what? <laughs> Car just interrupts a <laughs> in mini interview. Uh, what are you uh, My heart's saying one each. Aye. Peter Hartley is going to rate you one each. Hey! My, my heart's saying two each. Roscoe, what are you saying, man? <laughs> I hope for a beat all win, but I think they won right just personally. Alright. I'll take the one goal. Alright. <laughs> on the way! Get out! Get out! We love Hartley! Everybody loves Peter Hartley! We love Hartley! Everybody loves Peter Hartley!
weeping away. You're weeping away. Right, so now I'm on the rear replacement bus from Middle to Edinburgh. I'll see you probably in about three and a half hours when I get home. Muck away. So it's well after midnight, I've taken the time to watch sports scene and analyse what the highlights have been and I think justice was done by Peter Hartley scoring in the last minute, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Before I get on any further than this wee post-match analysis, I do want to say that I do not condone any controversial uh, words that Hartley said in midweek, but the reaction of the Rangers fans after the game today was priceless and... It was fun to watch, the way he was weeping. To score a last gasp goal, to save a point from any game, whether it's Ross County or whether it's Celtic or Rangers, it's still magic and it feels like a victory. Which is probably why I'm getting slagged a lot for celebrating a point, but at the end of the day, it's our first point of the season and we've got off the mark and I'm delighted with our performance. Also, I was not impressed by Craig Thompson's refereeing. I mean, what's you? In all the games that Thompson refereed last season, he's saying it of five mother players. Five more players than any other team in the league. Conspiracy theory? I think not. But today's game, to have gone in, scoring in the first three minutes, after the statistics of, oh, Rangers haven't gone behind at all this season, <laughs> three minutes in, welcome to Far Park, Stevie G. What a goal by Danny Johnson. That was 1-0 after uh, Stevie G's slippery footwork uh, in the training ground, teaching Goldson how to do it. Then, of course, Lafferty scored an absolutely outrageous lucky goal with the deflection. Some say that the ball's still spinning in that net. I mean, Carson was so unlucky there, and I thought we were hard done by. Then Carl McHugh puts us back in the lead like two minutes later. I love that man. Him at centre-back. Oh my God. He is honestly one of the best centre-halves I've seen us have in ages. And the fact we played him at CDM, he was wasted there. The fact he's got the time to just look around when he's playing in centre half. He's got more time on the ball and it showed today and honestly he was solid. He was one of my men of the match. I've got a few. Then of course we switched off at the throw-in and Rangers scored, Lafferty scored his second goal. And then soon afterwards it was 3-2 Rangers and we just capitulated. And I thought, well we've had our fun, we, we took the lead twice. And then we just hammered Rangers in the second half. And thankfully, Peter Hartley was there to equalise. I mean, it had to be him. But the reason why, in my opinion, we played so well is because Rangers had completely changed their setup. After playing so well with four at the back, and then they changed to three at the back, I mean, I'm not trying to understand the way Gerard thinks or anything like that. But I think they were trying to counter the way we were playing because we play 3 5 2. Rangers were so shaky in the back, and honestly it was a joy to watch. As much as a non-old firm fan as I am, I love seeing Celtic and Rangers struggle. It was hilarious at times today because Rangers were just couldn't cope with the, the intensity we were playing at in the second half especially. If we played like that the last couple of weeks, we'd have been out of sight of Hamilton and we'd have given Hibs a better fight. Another thing I want to bring up, uh, Hartley got booked for time wasting uh, midway through the second half. Two minutes later, Goldson uh, put the ball out of play and then he booted the ball 60 yards forward. <laughs> and he didn't get booked or anything. I mean, is that double standards or something? And Stephen Gerrard's got the cheek to say the referees are against him. There was a good couple of times where Rangers players were time wasting and they didn't get anything said to them. And then, of course, when it comes to Motherwell players, oh, it's fine, Motherwell's just a wee tin pot club from Lanarkshire. We're not going to hurt anyone. Let's just give him a book in anyway. Let's see how it goes. I'm glad I've retired as a referee because I can now just sit and criticise him. The way the game's going these days, it seems like the referees are just making things up as they go along. I mean, Craig Thompson's a prime example. Honestly, he's a bit of a disgrace to the profession. But, on the whole, I just want to say, I like... 3 each, maybe a fair result, I mean the way Rangers cut through us at times on the counter attack, that, that Croatian left back they've got is, seems to be a real gem. I'm just glad we didn't get beat because Rangers fans kind of slide me off. Apart from personal appearance, 
I do want to give a few special mentions from today's performance because I thought everyone played well, everyone got past marks, even the subs that came on, I thought Elliot Fear still changed the game when he came on. I thought Connor Salmon made a wee bit of an influence as well when he came on. However, one player I want to mention in particular, as well as Carl McHugh, I've, I've said my piece on McHugh, Gail Biggery Manor. The boy can do no wrong in my eyes. The creativity in the midfield we had today was all down to Biggie. Every pass was picked out to a Clark and Amber jersey. I don't think he misplaced a pass. I thought he played the perfect game from midfield. Two assists as well, I think, uh, because of course we scored two from uh, set plays. Also, I thought Alan Campbell played really well. Danny Johnson played a good game as well. I was quite surprised to see him get taken off, but if he's blown out his backside, then fair enough. And to just put on another hammer throw in Ryan Bowman, why not? Cause some more problems for Rangers because they could not deal with us the whole of the second half. But honestly, that was one of the best games I've seen in a long time. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below for more of the content. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Goggs in 99, better with you are. Dundee away next week, I can't anyway, wait. And there's going to be a, quite a few videos up this week. Nothing else to say, is that alright director? Aye, cheers mate. And yeah guys, I'll see you later. Take care.